Or Terminal 1 at Reed International Airport is a little more snug this afternoon. The drop-off area, it's under construction. Hundreds of pedestrian safety bollards are being installed there. As Hector Mejia explains, the work could last a year. New construction and lane closures in front of Harry Reed International Airport, Terminal 1. I was scared. I thought they were kind of dangerous. But it's all in the name of safety. We met Kelly Wimberly at the departure zone where crews began installing more than 300 safety bollards this week. Dropping off my best friends that came to visit me after 10 years. Crews are currently blocking two traffic lanes in front of the Allegiant and Spirit ticket counters. Inside, we found Sarah Shearling waiting to fly out. Everybody needs to allow more time just, just for those little glitches. Back outside, these are similar to the barriers installed on the Las Vegas Strip following a deadly DUI sidewalk crash back in 2015. I used to live in Cincinnati and they had the same problem where someone ran into a bunch of pedestrians. This project is finally underway after a pandemic delay. It's broken up in seven phases, moving south over the next year. As the concrete gets dug up to replace some utilities, and then we're going to lay down a new walkway that's going to be a little bit more durable and easier to sustain. I've been here for 30 years, and yes, this is just slow today, but this airport gets really congested in this area. Hector Mejia, live local now.